The things that set Crawford apart from others in the industry, I think it's the investment that they make in the individual. The only way for us to be successful as a company is if we set our adjusters up for success. They've got to be able to perform the job and meet the expectations of the client. And in order to, for that to happen, we've got to provide the support. You know, we go after the best people we can, and then we take people from all walks of life, all parts of the country, and, and we really invest from a training standpoint to get them where they need to be. But it's our people that set us apart, and, and we compete every day for the best people, and that's why we conduct the conferences that we do every year, the training that we do every year. It's, it's what sets us apart is the people. The teams that we've put together are more like a family than uh, just adjusters out in the field. I think we've created that uh, environment. And it's interesting because you really, you see us on social media and you hear about us, but until you actually get to get face to face, like at one of these conventions, where you get to meet the people, that's really where it changes. And you can see the difference. Otherwise, you just think it's just another adjusting firm that's out there and that you're just another number, but we don't treat people that way. I mean, we're driven to help people. Um, Jim Crawford started this business on the guise of that, is to help people. And 80 plus years later, that resonates today. You know, we, we get the feedback from the industry of what, what is the need out there. You know, we want to provide the adequate training to give the real life experiences so that whenever you do accept that deployment for the first time, that you're not, you're not seeing or doing something that you weren't prepared for. You know, we want to create, uh, you know, sufficient training to, to build that relationship and, and, and set up our justice for glory. So, because ultimately, if we do a great job, we're the ultimate winner is that policyholder, and that's really what our focus is. Cut conference is really kind of going great. I'm, I'm, it's exceeded my expectations. It's been a lot of, a lot of work preparing uh, for this event, and uh, it's been going exceptional. We wanted to make it a training event, which is really different from other conferences out there. Uh, we really want to show um, that we are truly invested in our greatest asset, our adjusters, and give them the opportunities to, to sharpen their skills, fill those skill gaps, and, and really kind of prepare for what this year is going to bring us uh, as far as events are concerned. Um, and we want to know them. We want to make sure that you know, we're a good fit for them and they're a good fit for us, and this is the perfect opportunity to do so. We put together close to 40 classes this week um, that our adjusters that are attending can choose from, and a lot of our courses have CE credit, so we want to create that value there too as well. I think we're I think of close to 70 hours of CEs available. Uh, so there, again, the adjusters are excited about you know, not having to have that extra expense on top of attending a conference like this. But um, all the feedback I've got is, is really great. They love hearing the Crawford message that you know, we're different. We want to uh, really value our, our adjusters and, and not only have that open line of communication throughout the off season and, and, and find opportunities in the, in the slow times. And again, offer some trainings uh, to make sure that they're gonna be rock stars whenever they, uh, uh, there's an event for them. It's a great program they've got and they're managing it well. So when you see somebody managing the program well, you're like, I wanna get involved with something like that instead of, you know, some places are just, I don't know what's gonna happen next week, much less, you know, next month. It's really comforting to, to see Crawford getting it together and managing and growing and looking at what they're doing and seeing they have a lot of well, well set processes in place. And that's that's good to good to know, and it feels good getting involved with somebody like that. I'm Kristen Tejada Copeland, Director of Catastrophe Operations with Crawford. While on deployment, you have the help rooms available. We have a training team available. We, you know, virtual and in person, uh, you'll find people assisting you through the process. We really do want our adjusters to succeed. It is our mission. It's our goal. Without them. We very much recognize that we would not be where we are without each and every one of them. And we take it very seriously. It's very important to us that they receive that message and understand that we're in this with them. Uh, we don't expect them to do any of this alone. For the experienced people who need less support, I would argue that, that for us it's about the experience for them as much as it is for the in, lesser experienced employees as well in, that are out there in the field. Uh, for the experienced people, it comes down to the quality of the work that we can capture for them, the uh, quality of the agreements that we have, um, and that's what's most important to them. And we want those people, just like we want to bring a diversity of experience to the battlefield, so to speak, um, but for them, it comes down to the, the, our leadership team that can deploy them in the right place. There's nothing more frustrating for an adjuster than to get 
given claims that are really beneath their experience level. So we work really hard to match the experience to the task at hand and the work that they're doing. And, and we have a tremendous diversity of just cap of capabilities and work product from MANCAT uh, to you know commercial property to traditional property to auto BI litigation. You, you run, it runs the gamut. Uh, and I think that's where we can really help adjusters fit them to projects that, that challenge them so they don't get bored. Uh, but they still have a great working experience. So I'm Ken Tolson. I'm the president of Network Solutions for Crawford & Company. I've been with Crawford over 30, uh, going on 33 years now. So I have a long history in every aspect of what Crawford does as a business. So I think, I think the aha moment for me the past couple of years has really been around the support piece after the deployment. Um, we worked for years to really get focused on being better at deployment from the moment we get the call. Um, but what we found is that it, it, your support has to go way beyond just the deployment day. Uh, when you get past day one of the deployment, the real work begins. You know, the inspections pile up, the work product has to flow back, and then the questions and the support are more important than simply just getting them to the site or getting them in the desk. The most important part of any deployment is, is how we support them through that deployment through uh, through additional training, uh, calibration training, uh, just daily in and out of the support rooms or virtual support rooms to answer questions that they have that they're struggling with on the deployment. Tough questions that come up in weird scenarios, you know, from weird coverage issues or strange construction issues. Uh, it's about bringing that experience to them in the moment they need it and not feeling like they're on an island uh, during deployment. My name is Richard Folkman. I'm the Vice President of CAT Operations flood and carrier practice leader. If you're interested in flood support, we offer unparalleled support. Um, I actually had an adjuster come up to me and say he's been in the business 30 years and he's never ever had the amount of support that he received through our flood department that helped him be successful. So we assign what we call a, a VTA to every adjuster when they go out in the field. Um, so they're kind of hand walk through the process and then we use a virtual help room that even when they're sitting in a hotel room or if they're out in the field, they can tap into it to ask a question and get a response almost immediately from an expert that just helps set them at ease that they have the information they need to answer the questions that may come up that they don't know. We have a couple of different things that we do. We obviously have um, our presentation, so the NFIP annual presentation for renewal that's one of the training opportunities. It's a day long. It's required by everybody that has an FCN card. But then we have our FAST or FAST training. That's Flood Adjuster Specialized Training. And it's a two day virtual course that we don't charge for. And it helps adjusters that have been in property understand flood because there's a big difference between the two. So we offer that a couple of times a month or once a month, all the way up into the hurricane season, super beneficial. My name is Tom Brocksmith. I'm a director of catastrophe operations. Again, we have a very great support system. So as new adjusters that come on board, we, we make sure that we have enough support on boots on the ground, whether it be a desk or whether it be in the field to support those adjusters, especially the new ones and help them grow and succeed. One of the things that we, we, we have a ton of different carriers to choose from. So deployments come with to us um, quite a bit. And about five years ago, we were mainly just a cat, mainly only had deployments when big events happen, when hurricanes happen. Now that has really grown. We, we, have, we have over a thousand people deployed right now, and we have deployments across the board, across the U.S. In catastrophe events, as well as regular daily claims, we have, um, with some of the carriers, we're backfills. Quite a bit of opportunity year round, instead of just during the big event uh, portions of the year. The people at Crawford are very open. They, it has a, a inviting culture. Um, it's a very inclusive, culture that's with Crawford that you just don't get that much with a lot of different companies. Um, there's still the good old boy system is still around and it's prevalent. I'm Ryan Holthusen, the Vice President of Education Division of Hague Global, celebrating our 99th year in business in, in 2023. So next year we turn a century old, which we're very excited and proud about. We have been coming to Crawford & Company uh, annual uh, uh, CAT convention uh, for 
you know, probably going on 10 years. We've done everything from teaching, uh, teaching to educating uh, the adjusters here on uh, Hague's educational opportunities, resources, and, and all of the services that Hague provides from our engineering to our construction consulting, fire, uh, uh, ONC, and, and down the line to education as well. well my name is Catherine Sutton. I'm the regional account manager for Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas for Stevens Engineering Firm. Um, we're based out of Houston, Texas, but we're all over the country, um, uh, everywhere except the West Coast right now, but we're getting there. Well, we have a great relationship with Crawford. We have for a number of years. Um, we, uh, we service them as far as uh, CEs. We obviously provide structural forensics engineering. Um, we also do civil. Uh, we just this year are kicking off our fire investigation, so we'll be doing that with Crawford as well all over the country. Um, but we really come here, see, see some, some of our old friends, make some new ones, and then we get an opportunity to talk to all of these adjusters um, and let them know the CEs that we provide and what we can do if they're out in the field and need any engineering services. It's all about relationships um, and reconnecting and then connecting with, with uh, the new IAs. There's so many new IAs here this year. I've heard a lot of people tell me that they're just two, three, four months in, uh, and so they're kind of getting their feet wet and gives us a chance to sit there and chat with them about what we do and what we provide. And really the CEs are, are, are a huge thing that we provide to all of these uh, adjusters and any IA or, or really any staff firm. So we've got virtual um, and we also have in person that we teach across the country. We have structural as well as ethics. Hi, my name is Ken Donaghy. I've worked for Verisk for almost 11 years, uh, and I've had a number of roles within the sales department there. Currently, I am the rep for Crawford, so I help manage the relationship between Verisk and Crawford, and, and I'm here just to support them and, and try to answer whatever questions we can for their uh, Xactimate users. So we really appreciate Crawford. They do a really good job. It, just their recipe for serving the policyholders and, and really, and, as well as their customers, everybody that they serve in the industry with the processes that they have in place. They have this three-legged three stool with process, people, technology, and they've done a really good job of instituting that, of bringing in good quality people, and, and they do a really good job of teaching the technology and the processes. And th this conference is a perfect example of that, of, of the good quality people they've brought in to, to be the adjusters for them and to make sure that they've got the best technology. And, and I think that's represented by a lot of the exhibitors that you see here that have the, the latest and greatest in, in what they're doing to, to serve the industry. I'm here at CatCon. This is, um, you know, Crawford is a is a firm that is near and dear to my heart. Uh, as a new adjuster, this is where I got my start from, and I'm just super honored and thrilled to uh, to be a sponsor this year. Every year, Crawford puts this on, and they always have a, a just a, a stellar lineup of classes. And and not, you know, often we go to some of these conferences and. The classes are boring, or they, uh, you know, they don't they don't really produce any outcome, you know. But I tell you, Crawford Crawford hits home runs with their trainings. Uh, great opportunity here at CatCon to continue your your education, and a great opportunity for uh, new adjusters coming in to kind of break in and get an understanding and an early understanding of of the career. But also for those of us that have a little bit more experience behind us to come in and kind of knock the dust off the, uh, off the books a little bit and clean the cobwebs out. Really what we're doing is working with Crawford to understand uh, what the adjusters on the roster need in addition to the technical training. So what are the soft skills that they might need? The, the benefit for uh, us to be here is to really survey the participants and find out you know, what, what would they see as a priority? What would they see as a benefit and a value to them to, to add to their training? And that started, that began as uh, offering a, a space or providing space for uh, Crawford three times a year. They bring in a class size of about 80 to 100 of uh, brand new adjusters, right, for a week long training. And uh, we provided that space for them. And they, as they were touring that campus here in Allen, uh, they noticed we had a construction lab. And in that construction lab, we had uh, you know some little sheds that we were building, and their idea was, well, could we have our adjusters come down and do some hands-on, right, some measuring, and you know, what would it look like if you're out on a claim site, as opposed to just you know learning in the classroom. So they said, well, what if we paid for the materials to have your students, right, your CAD students, uh, our construction management students, our electrical, plumbing, HVAC students, uh, to build a tiny house. I think they refer to it as the little house on the trailer. But one of the things that Crawford stepped up and did <clears throat> was they made a donation, a generous donation, that will fund scholarships for the students that are in those very programs 
uh, that built that, that tiny house. The universe of solutions is expanding exponentially right now. Uh, and we just want to make sure that we have our adjusters prepared to drop into those desk situations or field situations. I mean, it's one of the reasons we keep our partnership with Hover in place is that we've grown to use the Hover product from the outside uh, solution that they have now going inside the building. It's been critical for us to follow that journey and actually provide feedback to these providers like Hosta and Hover uh, and Planer to tell them how we're using the tool, where the tool works, where the tool doesn't work. And that all comes from our adjusters use of the tool. We take that feedback and feed it back to, the, to, to these vendors or partners that we have. They do a great job of consuming it and refining the product to make it better for our people. Yeah, Hopper's been proud to partner with, with Crawford for several years now. And uh, we're here to basically make sure that our, the cat adjusters are ready and prepared for a hell of wind season that's going to be approaching here in Texas in a couple of weeks now. So making sure that they are uh, fully um, up to date with the latest and greatest with Hover and be ready to uh, to tackle those storms. Yeah, Crawford is a, a very, very good partner. They're, they're working through our digital desk platform as well as a um, we go look and rolling out to a lot of different carriers and doing some very, very exciting things. Uh, we're also looking to move uh, internationally too to make sure that they're able to, to handle loss adjustments in um, Australia, UK, and Germany. My name is Deraj Chodwani and uh, I've been uh, leading the uh, Renovo project since its inception back in 2017. So Renovo is, has been a, I would say it's a go-to tool uh, for Crawford adjusters. Uh, it serves our three user bases. It serves our adjuster, it serves our staff, which is our CAT staff, that de deployment staff. And it also serves uh, our clients who send in a request for our adjusters. So for adjusters, it's, it's a quick handy tool for them to look at the new deployments that Crawford has, uh, show interest, uh, apply for those uh, positions. But we always encourage our adjusters to keep their profile up to date, uh, be it your expertise, be it your certifications, be it your contact information. So the, the more data you are providing us, the more information we have about you and the more quickly you'll be able to get some positions. The, what's happening in the industry right now is the tools and the capabilities around the desk adjuster are just expanding. We just did this recent um, partnership with Hosta Labs, which has a phenomenal 3D modeling tool. Well, it's just making the desk more powerful than ever. And so more and more claims are being segmented off. You know, the channel segmentation within the claims arena allows carriers to use these tools and push more into the desk. And that trend's not gonna change. It's only gonna accelerate over the next couple of years. So we keep investing in these partnerships but we also keep investing in the training for the desk adjuster to use those tools. And it's the hardest leap to make when you're used to being able to scope a property in person and in a house and having to do it through a monitor, through a package that's coming to you. This trend is here to stay. The technology is simply shifting the work. It's not replacing the work. Uh, it's maybe accelerating the productivity but and, and accelerating and improving the accuracy, but it's not really replacing the adjuster. The judgment is what the adjuster has to be focused on, and, and that, I think, never goes away. Uh, it's what we want them focused, we want the adjuster's time focused on exercising judgment, not so much clicking buttons and, and pushing work around that we can get the technology to do for them. With technology nowadays, we have the Teams chat, Microsoft chat, you can, you can video yourself. So, you know, with our virtual adjusters that may be working more of a remote areas, you know, our managers may not be there for the one off. So they have that kind of support, the emails um, and the text messages, et cetera. Based off of our support within a couple of weeks, a newer adjuster can be pretty self-sufficient. Go to our website. Yeah. Uh, www.croco.com backslash cat. And if you do another backslash and put training in there, you'll have our training schedule. Crawford was basically founded on education, you know, back in 1946, you know, uh, Mr. Jim Crawford, you know, created uh, the, the Crawford Educational Program, and I get to continue that, that tradition and legacy. And so uh, I love teaching. I love uh, making sure that our justices are set up for success. And, and this, is, this industry has really become, you know, my passion. And Crawford has allowed me to, to pursue my passion.